everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hi everybody. Welcome to 2017 Design Team. And I gotta shut my phone off because it won't stop pinging. Okay. Let's get this going. <laughs> Hi everybody, uh, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors and what we are going to do is we're going to start playing in 2017 with Gina Aaron's new stamp sets. Um, right now I only have two of them. I hope to get the rest of them here sometime soon. Uh, but what we're going to do today is we are going to make some borders out of these and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to use them. Now these are two of her new sets which I just think are fantastic. She's got the little animals uh, and a couple different birds. These are different than the ones she had on the original. Um, this beautiful elephant. I just love him. I think he is so cute. And this giraffe. Look at his, look at his hair on his neck. It's little hearts. Well no it's not little hearts. Yes it is. It could be little hearts but it's like loop-de-loops. So I think they are just adorable. The little lion, the bunny so very cool um, this one I don't know as I'll be using for borders but I had to show it to you uh, I will also put a link to Gina's Etsy shop in the description below if for some reason I forget and I didn't send me a comment and I will get that to you but these are awesome um, these are also this year last year she did them where um, we mounted them ourselves okay this year they come completely mounted isn't that fantastic? You can either get the self-mounting or you can get the mounted. Okay. This is another set. Um, and I can't remember the names of these sets. So we're going to have to figure that out. But these are doodles and borders. I mean, you talk about borders. Who wouldn't want a border with a, just a, a paint um, paintbrush? Look at these. These are going to be great for borders. So I am going to use these today. Now I do have the sets that she came out with last year. These are all put into just plastic containers, which is where this one will eventually be. Um, and I thought I'm going to use maybe the arrows, uh, maybe the small arrow. Not sure, but we're going to play with some borders on this one. I may even use some of these. We'll see how it goes. And this is the other set that I want to use. And, of course, these borders I thought would be real. This is actually a stem for a flower, but um, I thought these borders would be really cool to use today also. So what I'm going to use is I have a couple pieces of, of scrapbook paper here. I apologize. I have something in my eye. Ouch. Okay. A couple pieces of just plain old scrapbook paper. Um, I have made a promise to myself that I would start using the 500 pounds of it I have over here in the corner. So uh, when I was looking for paper to do borders with, I thought these would be really cool and they'd be actually be very versatile as well. Now I also have this piece of scrapbook paper and this has the, I don't know if you can see it, it's got the lines on it like a notebook pad. And we're going to use this also because what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to make myself journaling cards with borders around them. So um, if you've watched in the past, you know that I use journaling cards. I use them quite often in my personal journals. So, you know, while I'm doing this, let's make some. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start out with this piece. I'm not worried about that there. We're actually going to work in borders here. The first thing I'm going to do is take a ruler as soon as I find where I put them. Right here on the floor. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very lightly go down with a pencil and make myself some guide marks. Do, do, do. As soon as I get a pencil that works. You'd think I had one, right? Okay. So they don't have to be perfect. Let me go out a little bit. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to put some faint lines in here. Just so I have an idea of where I've got. I'm going to make some wide. Just so I have an idea of where I'm going with the, you know, the borders. Um, let's make some really skinny. Why not? We can, we can. I'm hoping they're semi-straight anyways. 
So and what we're gonna do, let's make a couple big fat wide ones. Not sure that doesn't look great. That looks good enough. I'm just doing this by eye. Um, it's very possible that this end is thicker than this end. I don't know. But we're just playing. And most likely I'll be cutting the borders up anyway. So what I'm going to do now, um, this is the white page, of course, as you can see. I am going to use different color inks. <clears throat> I've got all archival inks out here. Um, several different colors, and I am going to, let's start out with this yellow. I want to see what this yellow looks like. I'm going to start with this, this, this set of stamps. And I've got my block here. And let's see how this goes. Do, do, do. I'm going to throw a stamp down. We're going to ink it up. I hope that's inked up because I can't really see it. And we're just going to start stamping. And my pellet stove just clicked on. Oh, look at that! I bring it up so you can see it. See? Isn't that cute? The pencil line, I'm not worried about because I can just go in and erase it, right? I love it! Okay. So there is one long yellow border. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep stamping, but I'm not going to make you painstakingly sit here and watch all of this. So I'm going to put you on fast forward. All right. And I hope you guys enjoy. We'll come back and talk some more. Right. Who says 
suits you. What? Being boss. It's temporary. Okay. Lieutenant Duquesne. Thanks, it'll be nice, though. Find me. All right. Kelly Duquesne, large in charge. By large, you know I mean in terms of your reputation and responsibility, and you look very beautiful today. Well, that's a that's a nice say. Let me ask you something. You can make any changes while they're gone because uh, you can, you know. Like what? Like I don't know. Like her. I can't believe she's a CSI now. She's working hard for us. The mystery side to make. Look like down there. Beautiful. Couldn't be farther from Miami other than the weather. Everybody turned as a skyscraper or mountain. Shanty Town said it was a little town. They're very happy police actions today. Can worry about the people. The people are great. Are they just everywhere? No, that's the thing. 11 billion and it uh, feels less crowded than Miami. Like think they're waiting for something. For what? I don't know. I don't know if I want to find something. So what have you got on these locations? I'm confused. Why are you looking for Ray? Because we hear he's with 3S. Bad news. I believe it's a Drosera Viosa. It's indigenous to the rainforest, which means he's working outside the city. I forgot to tell you, we are in a city rainforest. It's right next to one fellow. Oh, well, in that case, I'm glad we help you. Alright, so I played around with some different colors and different stamps, and now I've just got out my um, paper cutter, and I'm just going to cut these into borders. Look at that. How quick and cute is that? Love it! I'm not worried about the pencil marks. Um, the pencil marks are just going to be erased later, or I'll just leave them there. Depends on what they look like. Okay, so here's a couple. Oops. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to use these borders. Love, 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 love this paintbrush one. Fantastic. All right, so there's another. We're going to use that. This is another one of the doodles, which I thought was really, really cool. So, and again, they're not perfectly straight, but I don't care. I mean, that's, that's what art is about, is, you know, the little imperfections here and there. If you're trying to do everything perfect, it, nobody, nothing is perfect. It just doesn't happen. So, you know what? I, I, I don't do perfect, so give up on it, I think is what I'm saying. So let me finish cutting these apart and then I'm going to test a couple of these stamps on this black piece of paper I have here. So I'm going to set these aside for right now just to get them up out of the way. And <clears throat> I have a piece of black that what I want to use on it is my white ink. Okay, this is a Ranger pigment ink. Glacier White, <clears throat> pardon me, and I'm going to use one of the designs from last year, which is the Arrows. You know what, I'm going to use this one, I like this one best. 
So we're just going to wait it up. Do, 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 do. It's so much fun playing. And let's see what it looks like. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't show up that well. But you know what? I'm still going to finish the line. Because even though it won't show up that well for like a border, <clears throat> well, you can see it. Pardon me, I have this frog in my throat and I just, I can't get rid of it. I don't know what the deal is. I might use this. Let's see. Let's do a couple of them. Do, 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 do. See, it seems like the more ink I get on it, the better it comes out. You see that? So I'm going to do a few more. And again, it doesn't matter if they're completely straight to me. I don't care because uh, yay, it's empty. Um, because I can, I'll just cut them. Just wanted to get that white off there. And I keep losing all my paper towels and my rags and da 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 da. I keep losing everything. <laughs> all right, so this looks okay on here. I was kind of hoping for a brighter white. So if you guys know of a bright white ink pad, please let me know in the comments below. I would really like to get one that I could use. All right, so let's just take this. I'm gonna give this a quick shot. <laughs> Pardon me, just to make sure it's done. There's one border. Another border. Now I don't even have to use these as borders. I could just cut them apart and use the arrows, right? Oops, that one I cut off the end. Right? Okay, now the last thing I wanted to do with the borders, let me get some of this stuff cleaned up and I'll get out my other piece of paper and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got these borders done. And what I'm going to do now is I took that big piece of scrap of paper that I had that has the lines on it and I'm actually going to make some borders on these um, so that I can use them in my journal. Now unfortunately these you probably won't see being used because I do use them in my private journal. However with that being said I may be able to um, use a couple of these in my inspiration journal that I'm going to be sharing. So um, just to give you an idea what I'm going to do with them. Aren't they cool? Now it's got the lines on it so how cool is that? Then I can just you know whether it's a memory or whatever the case may be. Well, how did I get? I don't know how but I have red all over everything now. That's alright. So there's one. And I'm just going to play around with these and play around with the um, inks until I get what I want. And I don't know where that, there it is, set of. Now, you don't have to use specifically, um, you know, border type stamps. Let's put it that way for borders. What I'm going to use now is I actually have one of the flower. This is one of the flower designs. It's actually this right here. Same thing, I'm going to use ink. I'm going to take one of my note cards here. And actually I'm going to take two of them because I don't want to waste the ink or the stamp. Okay. There we go. We've got two borders. Upside down, right side up, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to set those aside. Now I 
love um, using stamps. I really do. And now that I'm into my own my studio again, I really am looking forward to using more of my stamps. Prior, um, before I got into my new studio, I had I have so many stamps, and I was in such a small p space, I really couldn't get to them. So now I'm able to, and I'm really excited. All right, so this one, I'm going to bring another piece of paper. This is just an old cardstock piece. Um, this came from a, a recipe booklet. I think it was something that, like, one of the um, churches or that kind of thing, they had made their own cookbook. Isn't that cute? I could have done it a little bit over that way, but that's all right. It's just a little journal card. Again, you guys know I do these. I, I enjoy my journal cards, and I like to have unique ones. So um, let's see what else we can do. Now, I haven't done any words because I'm not, I don't want to really want to do word borders. You can. If you find some word borders that you like, go for it. Um, if you want to use some of Gina's words, we've got wisdom, happiness, love, inspired, artistic, you are beautiful. Um, there's a bunch of them. So if you want to make some word borders, absolutely, feel free to. So I'm going to take some purple. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to take this stamp here. Again, this is one of her older, stamp, older sets. Not really older, but last year's set. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to take some purple. Cute little border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, I want to go back to her new designs. Let me bring these back out. And like I said, I need to get these um, put into... I keep hearing noises, Sam. I'm really sorry. I, I'm home alone, which I'm normally home alone, but um, I keep hearing these noises, and I'm just not sure where they're coming from. It sounds like somebody's out in my living room. And I know the two cats are out there, but they're both sound asleep. So I don't know who it is. All right, let's use this one. And we've got this piece here, which is a doodle that Gina did. And I want to use that. This I'm going to do. I don't want black ink. Let's do yellow again. Why not? Do, 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 do. And we're just going to throw down a border. I'm going to do it this way. This way, that way. Actually, I like that. So I'm even going to do it more. Do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. How cute is that? Perfect. Perfect. All right. So I've got a few more here. I'm going to go ahead and do them real quick. And then I will be right back. All right, so now you're going to get to see how I use the borders. And also, I'm going to use some of these journaling cards. This is, um, if you're following us, you'll know this is my life of art and expression for 2017. And mine is inspiration. So this is actually my journal where I am recording this year the inspiration of, of my art journey. So... I'm actually, I've already started setting it up a little bit. Um, I now need to do, this is the second week of January, which I want to get set up. So you're getting kind of a bonus here. Um, you're seeing what I'm using, and then you're also going to see um, how I use it. So I'm going to start out with, I need to put seven days on this page, okay? So I'm going to do a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This one I'm going to put like this. Now, some of these, like this one I cut off, just the bottom. That's okay. I'll use it for a scrap somehow, some way. 
Uh, this one I don't really want in there. This one I think is really cool. So this is going to be like a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Let's do a Wednesday. We need a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So let's figure this out. Sunday and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm actually going to cut down Wednesday a little bit. So we'll do Tuesday. And you know what? doesn't matter if the lines are sideways, does it? No, because I say so. Wednesday, let's see, Thursday and Friday. Let's do a Thursday here. Mm, Friday and Saturday. So we need, this is a Saturday. Saturday. And what are we going to do for Friday? I don't really want to use those. Let's do this one. Let's use this on Friday. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run these through my Xyron so that I can sticker them all down. All right, and then if we have small, yes, I do. I have a small enough border. I'm going to put a little bit of border in between some of these. Maybe. Let's see. If not, we'll, we'll see. All right, let me grab my Xyron, get these so they got some sticky on the back, and I'll be right back. All right, so they've been put through my sticker maker. So let's get them put down. I think we said this one was Sunday. Put that one right there. There's Sunday. You know what? I want to make this one Monday. So let's make this one Monday. Hmm. Wanted to put it there, but no. So we're going to put it right here. No, we're not. Hold on. Let's do it like I originally had it, or I'm going to end up with not being able to get pieces on here. I'm going to say this is Monday. So Sunday, Monday. Oops. Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Day. Friday. See, I can do them any way I want, right? Friday, Saturday. This be Saturday. So now my dates on these. Um, the New Year starts off on a Sunday, which is the first, ends on a Saturday, which is the seventh. So now we're going eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So. I am going to use regular black ink, and I have these uh, these stamps. These, I believe, are from Inkadoo. Um, the rest of them, I'm not really sure. They're a, see, days of the week, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to leave them right here. I don't want those ones. I don't want these. I might use these later on as I get going in this. But for now, I want to use these little ones here. So we're going to start with number eight. Oops, sorry, I have them on. Stay. Come on, stay there. Ay, ay, ay. Number eight, we're going to start with. So that's going to be a Sunday, right? So here's the 8th. Nine. Nine. Do, 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 do. 10. I want to put these in a little container. These are going to drive me crazy doing this. <clears throat> Ten. They're cockeyed. That's good. Ten. Do eleven. Uh oh, we're going to do one one. So we're going to do one. Eleven. Twelve. 
13 and 14. So here's 12. Let's make this one 12. And 13. Now, knowing me, um, I'm starting out this year doing it like this. Don't be surprised if I end up doing it in pen, because this this is just right now it's driving me crazy. It's it just takes too much, but we'll see. I'll try to stick with it as long as I can. And 14. So now we've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Whoops, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So here's another full week that's going to go in my inspiration journal. We have used uh, Gina stamps in a border type capacity. Um, I am going to see if I can use up some of those borders though in this journal. So let me just put this back. Yeah, these are going to have to come off this thing and they're going to have to go into um, a container because, yeah, no, I'm not going to storm like this. I'll be like, yeah, no, I'm not getting them out again. So let's see what's next. I'm really enjoying getting this set up. I've only done these two weeks, but hey, why not? So I want to use, let's use a couple of these borders. Um, I like this one. What I want to do is I want to use pieces of it. So I am just going to cut. All I'm doing is cutting away some of the paper. As I can, and I am going to put this. Well, let's see, let's put it right here. Looks good. Where's our tape? Whoops, I'm gonna lose my heat gun. We're just gonna take some tape, because you know it's cool to dress these up, you have to dress them up a little bit. Let's take this one. So instead of actually using these as a straight border, I'm using them, but I'm using them more as a like a um, a border, but in a different capacity. Does that makes sense. Probably not that one and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write around them probably in black ink all right so I use those two I like this one this one let's see I'm going to do use this end piece same thing I'm just cutting off some excess paper so I don't have so much that I have to look at or deal with put some tape down one's gonna go right here okay let's do I don't want to put black in here let's do yellow oh I like this green one let's use this green one I'm gonna use part of it not the whole thing same thing I'm gonna cut the excess away so that we can use it I'm gonna cut this in because it's got jiggly where it was tore off the pad where are we gonna put this one Mm -hmm. Oh, right there. I like it. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do it now because when this week comes, I'm, I'm going to need stuff to do on it. So, but what I'm what I'm thinking is when this week gets used, which will be the second week of January, uh, I am going to... Probably take a pen, markers, highlighters, go around these borders. Um, and these journaling cards is what I'm going to be using. I'm getting rid of the excess tape that's on here. Um, these journaling cards are what I'm going to be using for my daily inspiration. So, in other words, if I watch a video that really inspires me, or whatever the case may be, that's what's going to be recorded on these pages. So, there it is. We're using Gina's borders. We're using her stamps. Um, the theme again this month is borders. 
We hope that you will go ahead and try them out and use them in different ways. You don't have to just make a border to go a full, sh you know, along the whole side of a page or down the middle or, or you know, cut it in quarters. You don't have to do that. You can use them, however. Um, just make a bunch of borders up and then use your imagination, use your creativity and see what you can do with them. These, I personally love to do the journal cards because I use them a lot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. Again, I'm going to put the link to Gina's Etsy shop in the description box below. If for some reason you don't see it there, please shoot me a comment and I will make sure that I get it to you. Her stamps are really, really cool and fun to work with. So as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. And before I go, don't forget to check out the other design team members' videos. They have fantastic ideas as well. So check them out. All right? We'll talk to you all soon. Happy creating. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!